Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. And in this episode, I'm going to try to show you how to make uh, liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. Now, I've done a, done a lot of prep work, probably about two or three hours of prep work, just to get ready to do this video, because there's a lot of pieces and a lot of stuff you have to have ready. And I'll kind of go over that. Um, one thing you're going to need a lot of, though, is ceramic. So you've I've been making ceramic here in the kiln. Ceramic requires uh, clay and coal. And I've got a pretty big hatch farm and I've been collecting coal for many, many cycles. So I had about 180 tons of coal before I started here. And clay you can get from uh, deodorizers. Uh, and I've got deodorizers all over the place that, that I've been cleaning oxygen for the last, I don't know, thousand cycles or so. So I made a bunch of ceramic. Um, I'll talk about my oxygen setup uh, at the, near the end of the video, but I just wanted to get straight into the liquid oxygen stuff. Now, if, I should note that this design is um, not by my design. It's uh, based, or not based, it's it's by a guy named uh, LifeGrow, who is a Twitch streamer. He's also got a YouTube channel. And I did have a design that's almost identical to his uh, except he came up with the great idea of adding a liquid reservoir before um, before the aqua tuner to average temperatures, and that was a great kind of enhancement. But kind of the only way you can do this thing is to have a liquid pipe thermo sensor before an aqua tuner to make sure that the super coolant doesn't freeze solid. So that piece is kind of essential. So I'll kind of show you what I built here. I, I haven't built the whole thing, but I've kind of prepared the area. So we've got a steam steam turbine, just made it a gold. We've got some back building here, uh, drywall, which is just igneous rock. It doesn't really matter what it is. It just prevents all the air from or steam from escaping into the vacuum of space. Now, I like to build this in a vacuum and not down near the tiles like this, because otherwise you have to remove all the air to make sure that there's no other gases in there, because the other gases can mess up the steam turbine. So I kind of briefly talk about how this thing works. So you basically put water in this lower chamber. Uh, it heats up by hitting the hot aqua tuner, turns into steam, powers the steam turbine, and then you put a, a gas pump at the top to bring the steam back down. Or you can use a, a door pump, but uh, I don't actually like those. I, I'll just use a regular pump. Uh, so. What we've got here, and I'll, I'll rebuild this again on the right hand side because I'm going to do one of these for liquid oxygen first and then we'll do one for liquid hydrogen. But I'll kind of describe what's going on in the piping here. So first of all we need some liquid or some super coolant which I've got up here just kind of waiting. I dumped some in a little pool here and I've got a little pump comes along here and I've got a valve so I can control how much goes in. And you don't really need a whole lot of the stuff. I've got uh, 1,600 kilograms, I think, um, which isn't actually showing up. I'm not sure why, but anyway, uh, I'm going to control it with a valve, liquid valve, and then we're going to put a little bit in this uh, liquid reservoir here just to kind of prime the system. And then it's going to come along. Uh, it's going to go in here, and then it's going to come out here. It's going to pass through the liquid pipe thermal sensor, which is down here in piping. Liquid uh, pipe thermal sensor. And it allows you to test the temperature of the liquid inside. And I've got it right now set to above minus 100. And if we look at the automation, it's connected to the aqua tuner. So if the liquid is above negative 100, it'll go into the aqua tuner. And it's hard to see here, but it'll go in this port right here, which is the aqua tuner. Otherwise, it will branch up, and there's a pipe behind this bridge that goes up into the bridge, and then the bridge goes down here, and it'll just loop the supercoolant through this radiant pipe, which is made out of thermium, which is a thing you get from space. Uh, you have to make it. Comes back around. This is insulated pipe made out of ceramic up until about here. I guess I should have made this one uh, radiant, but anyway. This is radiant, so it'll cool down this little chamber and then come back up here, loop again, go into the uh, reservoir and just continue in a loop. And if it's too cold to enter, 
Oh, I already said it. If it's too cold, it'll go up and bridge. If it's warm enough, it'll go through the aqua tuner and bridge, come through around this way. So I guess I should probably get it ready. I also have some water ready here. This is going to come along here. I've got a valve here as well so I can trickle water into this chamber. Because we'll want the water to go in and it'll turn to steam. But I'm going to build this part here on the on the right here hand side here. Just to show you what I've done, just in case it's a little bit confusing. Life Grow has a really good tutorial on showing this thing when it's already built and he describes it. But I wanted to actually build it on camera because it's a little bit... It's a little bit... Uh, involved it's uh yeah <laughs> so let's just see here i'm gonna put this i'm gonna kind of mirror what i have on the other on this side so we've got that we've got um liquid thermo sensor i'm gonna make this out of thermium i don't think it has to be but i'm gonna make it out of thermium you can also use niobium which has a high melting temperature but thermium i had a bunch of it so i'm gonna use that so we're going to put an aqua tuner in there, utilities, got a thermium. I'm going to rotate it so that the input's on the right. Okay, maybe I should speed things up here. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to need a to kind of prime this super cool in here as well. And maybe I should build that pipe first. This area is going to get really hot. So let me just think here what I want to do. I probably want to branch off here. But I could also come around the other side. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, or maybe we should just get one going. It's kind of hard to get one going without sealing this whole chamber up. Hmm. Let me think first. I kind of had prepared what I was going to do, but... Now that I'm looking at stuff... Uh, okay, let's just see. I'm going to take... pipe across here, I guess. So we'll do this. We'll do ceramic. We're going to branch off here. We'll go in here. Ideally, this would be on the outside, but this is just to get some liquid into the system. Okay, so then we want... Uh, we want the output to go into this sensor and then into the aqua tuner and we want to branch up if it's turned off and then we need a bridge here like this so if it can't get into the aqua tuner because it's too cold it'll branch up and come down this way And then we're going to come down here. And we're going to do a loop down here. This bottom chamber is for hydrogen. This top chamber is for oxygen. And we've got the side here. So I'm going to do come down here. Down to here. And then do radiant pipe out of thermium along here. This will be our cooling loop. Wrap around here. And then switch back to ceramic. And come up that way. And then this is going to go back into the input here. Now I might want to do a bridge here just to force it. I don't think it's necessary, but... Maybe I'll do it like this. Let's see if that works. Uh, it should work. Got 
some serious lag here. Okay, that's going in there, out, and then into there. So this will be the loop. Let's make sure I did this right. It'll go into the thing. The temperature will average. It'll come out here. And this sensor we got to set to above. For now, I'll just do minus 100. Later on, we'll tweak the temperatures. Okay, it'll come around here, up through here, in here, out of here, and then either branch. Did I put my automation in? I think I'll have to do that. I don't think this, this can be probably gold, but I'm going to use thermium because I'm paranoid that the wires will melt and we want it to be symmetrical. So let's do it like this. That should be reachable. It's really easy to build in debug mode, but to build it with dupes, you have to leave holes for them to get in, and you have to make sure it's all ready and everything's done, because you don't want to open this thing back up once it's running. Just realized I'm missing some drywall down here. Right here. And then we're going to put a pump in here. Now the pump it's going to pull uh, the liquid oxygen out. And right now I just have it in a little loop here. But I'll extend this loop to go into the l liquid uh, oxidizer tank. And the reason you do a loop is you don't want the super coolant to stay in this pipe too long. Because it warms up. And if it warms up it'll turn into a gas and it'll break your pipe. So you want to just loop it through. And then I control it with a hydro sensor here. Kind of manually. So we'll duplicate that down here. The material doesn't matter so much because it's just super cold. And I'm going to use ceramic. It's going to come out and kind of go back in. And a liquid vent it doesn't matter. It can be anything. I'll use gold. And then I'll put a, another hydro sensor here. This is to control the second bottom chamber. And then I'll connect to the pump like this. Now you also have to have your an oxygen line coming in. That's going to go into this top tank. And I've got it controlled by a valve here so I can control the flow. Later on, I'll probably just let it go full blast. And then the same thing for the hydrogen. I'll have to hook that up as well. So that'll go in here like this. And you want a high pressure vent. And now this thing is eventually going to be double walled with ceramic insulated tile, but I just did one wall for now. And then later on, I'll just go and double it all up around the, ex uh, around the exterior here. So the one piece I'm missing, or at least one of the pieces I'm missing, is a thermium gas pump. It has to be thermium or niobium, or otherwise it'll melt. So that'll go in the top here. And then we need an insulated gas pipe out of ceramic. And this is going to take the steam from the top, which is super hot, down to the bottom. And kind of fill the bottom chamber again. And I'm going to use a high pressure vent for this as well. Hopefully that's fine. It should be fine. I'll use thermium. Probably doesn't have to be, but I'm going to do it anyway. Now the power, I've got the steam turbine running this left circuit and this wire can handle 2000 watts. So we've got one aqua tuner and two pumps on it. So that's 1200, 14, 16, 80. And then I got a separate power line for the other aqua tuner. I'm going to make this out of thermium. Doesn't need to be, but. Actually, I'm just going to make it out of steel. Power lines, I think, are fine no matter what. But I'm just paranoid. Steel doesn't melt very easily, so. In fact, you might be able to get away with these being steel, but uh, I wouldn't risk it. Okay, so it's complaining about something here. That goes... Oh yeah, I don't think I have my pipe here. I think 
things are pretty laggy. Okay, let's just see here. Do I did I build that pipe up? Yeah, I did. So there's a hidden pipe behind here that goes up into the bridge down. Okay, we got power. That goes in. I think I'm missing something here. Oh yeah, the output pipe. So the output pipe also ceramic. I'm out of ceramic. Oh crap. Did they build stuff out of non-ceramic? They better not have. Wow, I used up all my ceramic already. Okay, we gotta go back down here. And I'll get my two kilns. I'll do ceramic forever. Ceramic forever. I thought I was gonna have enough, but I guess not. So hopefully that will build back up. Okay. Maybe I can steal some ceramic here from something else. Yeah, let's just steal some ceramic from the outside here. We'll go fill this back up later. <laughs> but for now, I just want to get this thing working. I'll steal some from here too. Or actually, they're not going to be able to get back in there. Okay, so finish that gas pipe. And this is going to need power, so let's get... I'll do a steel power line to here. And then I'm going to need to seal here and here to make sure that the steam goes from bottom to top. And then let's do this last little liquid pipe here, ceramic, from here to here. So this is the output of the aqua tuner. The colder super coolant will go through here, go down here, go through this loop, come back up, go inside that liquid reservoir and continue on through the loop. Okay. I think we can fire this thing up pretty soon. Uh, let's just see. Let's just see. <laughs> Make sure I got everything going here. So we need some super coolant in the system first. So I think it's safe to turn this on. Let's try that. Actually, let's get a little bit of liquid in there first. We're going to need liquid. So we're going to turn this valve on. Just to dribble some liquid on the ground. Just enough liquid so that we get enough steam to get this whole thing running and then we'll be sealing it all up. Okay, that's probably enough for now. We'll turn it off. Set this to priority 9 so they actually do it right away. But they're not doing it. Little buggers. I ran out of water anyway. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough. Okay, so. Let's let some super coolant in. Set this to priority nine. I'll just do like a small amount because I don't really have much of it. Each each of these packets is 10 kilograms. Okay, is this working? It's kind of splitting, kind of. Oh, it's actually starting to cool down and heat up. Okay, so it's actually working right now. So the aqua tuner should be getting warmer.
Okay, let's just see if this thing's working. These small packets of uh, super coolant, they won't, uh, they won't heat up the aqua tuner that much. So they're going in at 38 and they're coming out at 32. That looks good. I think I can turn this up a little bit. So these act, act as heat pumps. They're basically... Oh, this is splitting. This is not good. Why is this splitting? Oh no, that's right. It's going... It's coming through here, going up. No, it shouldn't be doing that. This one's messed up. Did I forget to set this? Above? Minus 100? Why is this doing it this way? I think I messed something up. This comes in here. Aqua Tuner's on. It should be coming out here. But it's not. It's going up. Oh, I think I know what I've done wrong here. Let's just see here. No. That's going. This one's working. It's going in, in here. Aqua tuner's on. It's going out, coming through here. But some of it's going up as well. It's branching, which I don't want. Actually, okay. It's okay that it's branching. As long as half, yeah, half of it's going through. Okay, that's fine. But when we change the automation here, let's just say below one, let's turn it off and then watch it. So now it'll go in a loop without being cooled. Okay, that's good. Perfect. So let's set that back to above. These should be getting warmer and warmer. And this should be getting cooler down here. How much super coolant do we have here? Oh, we still got quite a bit. So this loop is saturated. And this has got a little bit of slack in the system. And I want a little bit of extra in this other one. It's kind of getting messed. I've messed it up here. I should have put a bridge here, because this is kind of messed up. We just want a little bit of excess in this reservoir. And that'll that'll happen eventually here, once, uh... <laughs> Hopefully we don't run into super coolant. We should be fine. Speed things up a bit. So once this is all done, I'll take this bridge out. Okay, this looks almost fully saturated. Yeah, these are getting hot. Super hot. And this area should be getting cool. Well, it's a vacuum right now, but... Don't crash on me, game. Okay. Got 30 kilograms in there. 40. I'll wait till we have a couple hundred. Oh, we got steam forming. That's good. Okay, I think it's safe to seal this up. So we're going to do ceramic priority 9 right here and here. Now I've got 600 in here. And I've got 120 in here. I'll wait till I have a little bit more in the system. Oh, I'm out of super coolant, so that's pretty much it. I think it'd be. I think it'll be enough. 
So I started with 1,600 kilograms of super coolant. Hopefully that is all good. That's going to empty. This is messed up. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, that's sealed. This should get super hot in here. Should get steam. The steam should go up here. Oh, just realized we got to plug this up. But before we do, I think what I'm going to do... I don't technically need this, but I'm going to put it just in case I want to control this pump. So we'll put a Atmos sensor there. And we'll connect it here. Priority 9. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to sweep the junk out of there. Oh well. Actually, what is that in there? Mavic Rock. Melting point 1400. I don't think we're going to get up to 1400 as long as there's no other crap in there. I think we should be okay. So you want to sweep out all these things first. And I think it's safe to seal this up as well, so I'm going to seal up the bottom chamber. And hopefully the dupes don't seal themselves in there, because they're good at that. Okay, how's this steam turbine? I think it's not working. Not enough pressure in here yet. Okay, that's fine. Okay, if the pressure is above, we'll set it to zero for right now. So that's true. Current pressure above. Well, it will be. It will be above zero. Damage overheated. Are you serious? So the liquid reservoirs. No. <laughs> no. Uh okay. I guess their temperature does matter. <laughs> or their material does matter. Uh, I didn't think these were gonna actually melt. Gold amalgam. Thermium. Oh I messed this one up. I made it a gold amalgam. Well, that kind of sucks, because this thing is all built. Hmm. Okay, we're going to turn this thing off. And go back inside. And hopefully I can salvage this. We're going to deconstruct this. Replace it with a thermium. Oh no, we got water in here. That's okay. That's fine. So we'll put another one in. This one will be thermium. Hopefully you don't make the same mistake I did. That will go right there. And I might need to steal a little bit of super coolant from this other one. Oh, it's flowing backwards. No! <laughs> uh, okay, whatever. We're draining that one line. I'll have to fix that. Get all the super coolant we can out of the top. And then I'm going to have to steal some from here. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I think what I'll do is I'll make a bridge. If the game doesn't crash on me. Okay, this bridge can be anything. Or can it? 
I think it can be igneous rock. Okay, so we'll branch off there. That'll go that way. Need ceramic here. Get rid of this and this. I just need to get enough super coolant in the right hand side here so that it's the line is completely full right now there's big gaps in it so I'm gonna steal it's gonna branch here I'm gonna steal a little bit of it stick it in there and then once it's balanced I'll take this bridge out and hopefully that works but we want to leave enough in the other side as well so 1200 once this comes down to 600 We have in here zero. Okay, seventy, eighty, eight hundred. We don't need eight hundred, but okay, let's take this bridge out now. And hopefully they do it in time. Come on, do it, do it, quick. Okay, perfect. So we got 600 on that side, 300 on that side. That should be fine. And I should probably clear this line out before we close this thing up. So we'll stick a bridge right here. That'll just clear the line. So we get every last drop of super coolant. So at the moment it's doing nothing. It's just circulating coolant. Now we've cleared the line. I think I can leave this pipe in here. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay, time to seal the deal. Ceramic, right here. It's raining in here. Now this water in the top that might mess things up. I think it'll it'll heat up though, and we'll be fine. But just in case. I'm gonna mop it up. I don't think it'll matter, but. It's gonna keep falling. I just don't want it to block anything. Oh, it's just gonna keep falling. Everything's gonna get super hot in here anyway, and that should all turn into steam. Okay, let's seal it up. Ceramic, priority nine, right here and here. Let's get these moving again. And since this is sealed, I'm gonna start to let oxygen in. she goes. Oxygen is coming in. So it should get really cool in here. Now I'm not going to fill it right up. Let's just... For now we'll just put a little bit in. Same thing with the hydrogen. We'll let some in. I think this is now working. We have... We don't have much steam in here so I'm going to let a little bit of water in. So it's working. The top is very hot and the cold and the bottom is very cold. And that should continue like that. So 
As long as I've done everything correctly. Super cool is cooling. It's at minus 55. Kind of in both. So it should fall to a minus 100 before it starts just looping without going through the aqua tuner. No one put any water in. Oh yeah, I ran out of water. That's the problem. So let's set this to water. I'm a little bit worried about the steam turbine. It usually says something... Like, not cold enough, or... Not enough pressure. But it's not saying anything. Which is a little bit worrying. Scalding steam. Nice. Hmm. It should be working. Ten kilograms of pressure. There we go. Oh, there we go. Finally, cold steam. Okay, here we go. Steam requires a minimum of 226. Down below, we're at close to 226. And I'm going to take the super coolant down to minus 200. And the other side, same thing, minus 200. Now to get liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen, we might, we'll have to go a little bit lower for liquid oxygen. How much oxygen do I have in here? Not much. We're going to let a little bit more in. Actually, we'll wait till we get liquid. Oh, and this hydrogen, we've got 4,000 grams. Let's turn that off. So now it's now it's a waiting game. You just wait until it cools enough to get a liquid. That's the power overlay. So I'm powering all this with uh, some hydrogen power up here. So the steam's at 255. Okay, here we go, it's powering up. Barely. Spinning up. Now this thing isn't used to generate power. I mean, it does make a little bit of power, but it's mainly to delete heat. Okay, there it goes. Here we go. And it's just pumping the steam back to the bottom. I probably should have put some automation on this to say only pump the steam when it's a certain temperature, but I think this will be okay. There's the potential for the steam to cool into a liquid and break this pipe. So we could set it uh, if the pressure is above. I'll just leave it. If it breaks, we'll have to go back in. Okay. What's the temperature in the oxygen chamber? Minus 123, and below it's one minus 123. Might as well get a rocket going while we're waiting. And how much ceramic do I have now? We've got 13 tons. I'm going to build the the rest of the double wall here out of ceramic. Priority 7.
So we're trying to get down to minus 200. And you can see it's slowly getting there. Minus 149, minus 150. Minus 151. We'll get there. Now the oxygen one, which is the top one, needs to be at minus... Uh, let's just see here. Well, oxygen, we can, if we click on an oxygen tile, oh, that's not oxygen, here's oxygen. You can see oxygen turns into condenses at minus 183. So we need to go below minus 183. So we're gonna go minus 205. And the other side will have to go a little bit lower because the hydrogen, let's just check the hydrogen here. Hydrogen condenses at minus 252. But we gotta be careful because we don't wanna turn the supercoolant into a solid, which happens at minus 271. So we can't go to minus 271 in the Equituner or everything will break. So if we go to minus 255, Let's just go to minus 250 first. That should be safe. We're going to go a bit lower than that, though. Probably to minus, minus 253. Now, you can pre-cool your oxygen as well and your hydrogen. I'm not doing that. But you can, uh, you can do that, and it'll speed things up a little bit. We've got 21 kilograms of steam there. Nothing has broken yet. That's a good sign. Now we're down to min minus 188. That's, it's, it's actually going pretty fast. Oh, we got liquid oxygen. Here we go. That didn't take that long. Good old liquid oxygen. Perfect. Okay, and we're back to a vacuum, so I'm going to let the oxygen rip here. We'll send in as much as we can. Come on, someone flick the switch. There we go. So it's kind of cooling as it's going in. You can see it just turning into a liquid right away. That's a good sign. Lovely. And I'm gonna test my little loop here. Actually, we'll wait till it's... Oh, it's pumping. There it goes. Perfect. But I don't really want it to go yet. because we want it to be super cold. Oh, that's a lot of lag. Okay, turn that off for now. So we'd have to hook this up to our liquid oxygen tank. And I'm gonna reconfigure this rocket to be a hydrogen-based rocket. I wonder if I should take it apart now. It's full of petroleum, so we'll probably send it away for one more mission. Uh, we've got oxalate. Let's remove, bring back the gantries. It's all ready to go. Let's launch that thing. I've been sending all my petroleum rockets to the satellite, which has steel, copper, and glass, isorosin, and fullerene, which I kind of like. So that's going to go that way. And when it comes back, that'll be the end of the petroleum, petroleum days. Okay. How are we close? Are we to liquid hydrogen here? Pretty close. We gotta get down to minus one, 252. See, this thing drops, the Agua Tuna drops it by 14 degrees, so it's gonna go in at minus 250. 
the low is minus 250 and then it's going to come out minus 264 and I think that's fine 264 yeah we got a little bit of wiggle room there Ten more degrees and we'll get some liquid hydrogen here. Probably need to send it more oxygen than I'm sending it. Let's just see here where I'm getting this from. Uh, this is coming from an algae room. That doesn't need to be cooled. I'm going to take that wheeze ward out. Put another algae deoxidizer in there. Actually, what I really need is another pump. So I'll briefly talk about my oxygen setup here. I completely changed it. Now I used to have three different places, or two different places where I was making oxygen. This was one of them. And it was getting cooled by the nullifier. But now I'm doing all my oxygen generation in this room here. And I'm not using gas filters anymore. I'm just doing the electrolyzers here. The hydrogen rises naturally and the oxygen kind of falls and we suck the uh, oxygen out and it goes down to the base and kind of spreads out and so far that's been working perfectly and it's nice and cool and I'm cooling it with uh, our cool slush geyser so the water comes in at minus 10 goes to this radiant pipe right above the electrolyzers and keeps this all nice and cool at around 10 degrees also have a few wheeze warts on the bottom, but they're not really necessary. And then I've got a gas element sensor here. If it detects hydrogen down at this lower level, then it pumps it out and it sends it down to a big kind of hydrogen container that I have. Which I'll show you in a sec once the game saves here. So that comes out here, no filters required. And it's sticking it into this giant room, which is supposed to be all for hydrogen, but I had some oxygen in there. And then I pull it back out whenever I want to burn it with this pump here. Same kind of deal. Gas sensor set to hydrogen. And that's been working pretty well for hundreds of cycles, so pretty pleased with it. I did this in a previous base and it worked well, so I thought I'd try it again. It was a little bit different than this, though. It, Yeah, a little bit different. But it's amazing how this cool slush geyser is able to cool it all. Having all that cold liquid is very useful. And then after it's warmed up a bit or cooled down the room, it goes through here, gets sieved, turns into 40 degree water, and then goes into the electrolyzers. But let's see if we got liquid. Oh, we got liquid hydrogen. I should have been watching it. <laughs> let's let that rip now. Go full blast. Get some more liquid hydrogen. So it's minus 251 in here. I'm gonna go to minus 253. Just to keep it really cold. And that shouldn't break the aqua tuner. Minus 253, 263, 267. Yeah, we're fine. We got a little bit of wiggle room there. And let's turn this infinite loop off. Okay. That went uh, relatively smoothly, except for my blunder with the uh, liquid reservoir. So make sure that's out of niobium or thermium, or you'll have the problem I had. Make sure to sweep everything out. Oh, I'm still putting water in here off. Got 37 kilograms of steam per tile. That should be enough. It's probably over overkill, but... Oh, 
that's pretty much it. it. Seems to be working. That'll take a while to get enough liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen for one rocket, let alone two. But it should just, uh, should build up. How much do we have in there? 15 kilograms per tile. I, th I think we need 900. So that'll take a while to fill the rocket up. I'll probably keep one petroleum rocket. In fact, I kind of have to get rid of this, uh, this line here. I think what I'll do is chop this line here. I'm gonna lose a little bit of petroleum, it's gonna fall down here. That's okay. Might as well mop it up. And then we'll empty this pipe. With the good old plumber. Hopefully they can reach all that. Don't really need to empty it. I could have just destroyed the pipe, the petroleum would fall down here and then disappear. But we'll do it this way. The first time I did this, I think in the last uh, series I did, it, I think it took, I think I did it, I did it during a live stream and it took like three hours. That's because I had none of this preparation done. But this time, it's working pretty well. Oh, I'm still delivering water here. Where is this water going? Nowhere. Okay, let's turn this off. Got enough water. Oh, I've, I'm overpressurized. That's not good. Actually, it's okay. Cold steam. Yeah, I just need more oxygen for this line. Let's see if I can quickly fix that. Uh, got a bit of mess here. Okay, let's put another pump in and another algae deoxidizer. I think that should do it. I have enough power. Yep. Still running off algae. <laughs> I don't much have much room here, though. But these packets are not. I'm gonna... I'll probably have one pump for the liquid oxygen and one pump for the other thing. Okay, let's do that. So we'll put another pump here. Set this priority eight. Okay, this is going to be a bit messy here. But we'll use the left pump for the bottom stuff. So I need some bridges here. I'm going to do a bridge here. Bridge here. Oh no, we got hydrogen in there. What the hell? That's the first that's happened in 200 cycles. Okay, let's do that. Like that. 
So that'll go in there, that'll go in there, that'll go down, and then we'll get rid of this line here. Where did I get hydrogen from? Oh, I think some snuck into this room when they went in there. That's a problem. Okay. We don't usually go in there. That's why that happened. I should probably have a filter on this. Because that is going to happen. And I'm going to put... I'm going to power this door. So that's less likely to happen. There we go. One pump dedicated one pump dedicated to the bottom. One dedicated to the top. Now I gotta make sure no hydrogen goes in my oxygen. Because that would be really, really, really bad. So I'm gonna put a filter in here somewhere. Which needs power. So for now I'm gonna cut. Oh, this has to be in a down here. Okay, I'm going to do it right here. We'll do a gas filter just in case, just in case. Don't want to risk having a uh, Hydrogen going in there. That'll go there. Pure oxygen out. Everything else will be tiny bits of hydrogen, which I'll just chuck out here. And it needs power. And we'll select oxygen the game really lags when, you, when they're building gas pipes probably because I have so many gas pipes okay that's working That way we won't get any hydrogen in our liquid oxygen setup. If they would only remove this pipe. There we go. Nice and clean. Okay, perfect. Looks a bit better. Now we don't have enough hydrogen. Probably because I'm branching here. And we're stealing a little bit here, yeah. This isn't really a saturated line. I need a second pump here. To kind of merge these. How much power am I using here? Too much. <laughs> about up here I need more power this isn't running full blast I think we can afford to put another pump on there and see if we fry the system can't really 
actually put it there though. Automation here. Bridge for this to merge into. Hopefully, this works. Full-size packets. There's this thing with the game where it's it's saving every single report in the save file. So um, that causes some problems when you get in higher, higher cycles. At like cycle 5000, the save file is something like um, over 30 megabytes. So the, the, when the game auto saves every cycle, it takes like 30 seconds. And that's saving to an SSD, solid state drive. So it's, it's uh, yeah, it's kind of an optimization they should probably do. So this is a problem here. I need to split this properly. Actually, can't really do a whole lot with that. Yeah, I can. I can do a bridge. If I do a bridge like this, it should cause the flow to be a little bit better here. Let's see if it's right. Uh, there we go. So by adding a bridge, we basically doubled the flow rate here. Because if you just do a regular T, it kind of gets wonky and doesn't send as much gas through. Okay, now we've got full packets of hydrogen going in there. That's good. Okay. Where's our rocket? Oh, it's gonna be a while. Next episode I'll actually reconfigure the rocket to be hydrogen. Or I could reconfigure this one. Actually that one's not close enough. I want it to be close to my loop here. Actually we can hook up the loop now. So this is gonna be hydrogen. It's gonna go... Let's just do this while we're here, since we have a little bit of time left. Okay, so we're gonna go... So we're gonna move this one. That can go...
So this has to loop back around from down here, and I'm, I can't actually do that because I have no ladders. Unless we go the opposite way. And this isn't ceramic. Oh, I should probably build this out of ceramic. Let me take this all. This is all igneous rock. I gotta take this all out. Oh, and I've been building lots of ceramic. 20 tons. That's actually not that much. How much coal do we have left? 198 tons. So we're going to loop the liquid oxygen or liquid hydrogen into these fuel tanks with ceramic insulated. Now I do have insulation, but not much. Insulation would be even better, but I don't really have a whole lot of it. So we're going to come out of here. I could use bridges instead to save myself some ceramic and heat loss. Maybe I'll do that. Liquid bridge. Bridges don't leak any heat because they don't actually transport. They more like teleport the liquid. So if we do that... That's going to save us a little bit of materials. Okay, ceramic. Some people say this is an exploit, but I say whatever. I don't think so. So that'll go up there and then loop around, come back down. And go in over here. Use a bridge as well. Like so. So when that rocket finally lands, it's going to fill with liquid hydrogen. Oh, lag. <laughs> I should probably get this petroleum rocket going. Uh, do we have any oxalate? No. Let's open the gantry. Hydrogen's at minus 253. It's just at the cusp of turning into a gas. Maybe I'll do some bridges here as well. Let's just test the system here. We'll send some in a loop here. There she goes. 254. And then back in. 253. So we lose about one degree. And this pipe should be getting Colder. It's at 25 degree 25.9. That top segment is at 25.8. So I'm gonna turn that loop off for now. And it should Rain. There it goes. So over time, this this pipe will get will get cooler, but the exhaust of the rocket <laughs> causes it to heat back up. So it's kind of a 
a battle. Okay, our rocket's at 78%. Uh, we can finish the double walling, I guess, here. It's probably not necessary, but let's just see how hot everything is here. This insulated tile is at 31. It's not really warming up at all. These little bits are... Oh, interesting, where the rock is sitting on the ground, it's transmitting the heat. quite quickly. Hmm. <laughs> Should have swept that up. Maybe I'll crack in there and get that stuff out, there, out of there. Or we could do the old teleport trick and pretend that I swept it out. Magic. You know, we got some hot rock out here. Anyway. I didn't want this to be any longer than it had to be. Uh, so I will wrap things up, but I did want to show quickly at the bottom of the base. My oil changes. Oh, I moved the molecular forge down here. Let's turn these kilns off or I'll forget and we'll use up all our coal. Got enough ceramic for now. Well, I kind of reconfigured this a little bit. I added another natural gas thing and I changed my piping a bit. It was all messed up, but it's a little bit cleaner now. A little bit. So molecular forge, it was at the top before in that top room, but now it's down here. Making thermium and super coolant. Do I need any more of that? Yeah, we'll keep making it. And then down at the bottom, I ran out of the... Oh yeah, my old oxygen setup used to be here as well and I ripped it all out. I still have a little bit for the oxalate. And then down here... Oh crap, this is all backed up. That's not good. Uh, disable, disable. <laughs> we gotta get water in there too. Okay, we'll disable that. Oh, this loop. Oh, it's falling out and everything. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's turn this pump off. I've been at the top of the map for like a hundred cycles. Yeah, I guess I wasn't using the oil fast enough. That's what happened here. I Can I set automation on that? Yeah, I'm gonna set automation so that if the oil level is too high, we'll turn this thing off. And now I have to get this oil out of here. And I've been filling in the this with mafic rock. Probably gonna do that for all these little troughs here. Just have a nice uh, bottom of the map. Maybe same thing here. Get this diamond out of here first though. And then there's some oil here I can use. I, I set up a pump, but I didn't kind of wire it up yet just to use this last bit of oil. And how is our water level? I haven't checked that in a long time. Oh, water is overflowing. Jeez, we're not using it fast enough. I should probably also tap into this um, oil reservoir as well since we have so much damn water. And eventually I'll crack in here, get all this free food. Food's been stable at a million though, since I, I put some, put these bristle blossoms back in. Just one row of them. And that's been enough to stay kind of even. So if I look at the reports here, calories, net, minus 25. That's still negative. 
So we're slowly ticking down from a million. And then I'll try to find the even point. I'll plant a few more of these. Plus we've got tons of uh, hatches. Look at all these hatches, they all escaped. Here we go, hatch. Mass attack. It's the battle of the hatches. Will any dupes die? <laughs> oh, there were, there were some injuries. I gotta make it so my hatches don't get out. They're, I think they're jumping through these doors whenever the dupes go in there. But this system has been working pretty pretty well. At some point they're gonna run out of food, but not for a long, long time. They're eating clay. And what else? Sandstone, igneous rock, sedimentary rock, all the above. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap things up here. I hope you enjoyed that episode. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.